Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. This is week 19 in the Marguerite Miller uh, Collage Weekly Planner and it's getting there. I mean it is it we've done quite a bit so far. So week 19 and we are into May. So this week um, Marguerite has requested our assignment is dancing a label the next noun you hear someone saying in whichever form and my noun is car because my son called me today and asked me if I could um, cancel his car service so it's going to be a car something in black and white a geometrical shape and then bonus something stapled so I think I can do it all so I want to show you um, where I gathered my items this week. Um, I have my sticker book. And I always check in here first because I do like to use this book. I haven't used it an awful lot, um, but I do try to use it for this project in particular. So I did find uh, a couple of dancing rabbits in there. And that's what the... The rabbits look like and I just thought they were the cutest little the cutest little animals um, and what I did for this is in the books you there's a um, a thicker border that goes around these so I just took the rabbits and I put them on a piece of white paper and then I trimmed a little bit closer around um, I didn't want I forgot between the ears I didn't want all of this extra um, border showing. So that's what I did with those. And I do like to um, do that on a lot of them because of the that thick border. All right, so I have a couple dancing rabbits. And then I needed to find a label. So I found this Pike Smoking Tobacco label which I thought um, would go well with this. I've got a little story going on here. And then my geometric, my noun is the car. So I found this really cool little, um, this looks like a Mercedes. So this little Mercedes I found. And then I found a uh, geometric shape. So I found geometric shapes within a geometric shape. So I'm going to use that. And then my black and white is this really cool um, page here that I got out of the Rob Report. And it's a chandelier, uh, black and white, a little bit of gray in it. Um, but I just think that that is a really cool, really cool light fixture. And I want to use that. So I want to show you... Um, that I also use magazines and I use these Rob reports here. Um, my husband subscribes to Rob report. Well, I don't even think he subscribes to it. They just started sending these to us um, years ago and he might subscribe to them, but these have really cool um, graphics in them. So if your husband, um, gets these it's something that you might want to consider using if you uh, work with collaging because there's just some really cool images in here I was first going to use um, where did it go there was an image on the back side of this Beverly Hills Oh no, on the, oh, this one here. I was first going to use this image here um, because there's a car in it and it's black and white, but I'd like to use this for another collage and because I just think this is really, really cool. Um, but there are so many really, really cool um, graphics and little sayings. I also cut a saying out from one of the magazines. Um, but there's a lot in here that you can use for graphics. And so 
the Rob report is another really cool, like you could use images off of this front cover um, for something. You could use an image like this in, in your collage. You could use um, this watch, um, the Peugeot on the back here. Um, you could take out some of these. That's Hugh Hefner, looks like. Um, some of these images, they, they just have so many really cool um, you know, this would be great in a collage. You could also use some of these items in a master board. This would be really cool in a master board or even a, a collage. So <clears throat> this would make a great um, collage piece. There's your jets. So you get the idea. Like, look at this watch here. That would be really cool to use um, in a collage. So there are quite a few really nice items um, in these magazines here. So I kind of take these. When my husband's done looking at them, I confiscate them, and I have a whole pile um, of these. So it's something... Something you should consider um, when you're doing collage work, some of the magazines. So this I want to put, this is going to be my, my black and white. All right, so I need to cut this down. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this. Um... have to cut into this a little bit. I should just measure it, but once again, I'm I'm really lax on remembering what the so I'm just going to cut this down just to about that that area right there. That's good. And then I want to um, see, I want to have the rabbits. Yeah, I think that will be good. So I'm just going to cut it down just past that first, these first words here. All right. Let's get these out of the way. All right, so I'm going to use this as my background this week. And I'll put that right on there now with my, here's my tape roller, Michelle, if you're watching this. It's a Scott Advanced Tape Glider. And I use this for my scrapbooking, so you get big rolls of tape in here. And um, you can take nice big runs with this here in one swipe. I had Michelle from Tape and Twine. And if you don't follow Michelle um, over at Tape and Twine, you should. She has some really nice videos. Um, but she asked what the tape dispenser I was using in one of my other videos. And All right, so there is my black and white. So I can... I can check that off. So something in black and white. So here's my white with my black and my silver tones. And then I've got these two. They are dancing. See, they fit perfectly um, on here. So I am going to, I'm going to be putting them on there. Now, my geometric shape this seems too easy. This week, my geometric shape, I think I'm going to put, oh, the car is going to be going right in here. So I think maybe I might put that there like that. It's pretty simple this week. And then I have, um, 
I have my label. And then I'm going to be stap something stapled. Um, so maybe I might have to do it like this. And I'm going to cut this out around here like this. And I'm not going to take the top part off of this um, because I'm going to be staple, stapling it on here. So I think that will be better. And I think I'll staple it right on. I can staple it right on the top of this here. Just like that so I'm going to staple that on there like that and then the car will go right there and I'm gonna tell you about these two rabbits because what do they say every picture tells a story so this is their, this is his Mercedes. This is all about him, okay? So let's get these two on here. So this rabbit here is whining and dining his new, his new found love. I say his new found love. I don't know if she's buying his story yet. He is in the tobacco industry. And um, he lives the high life. And right there. And she's not used to this. This is a whole new world for her. You can tell by the way he's in his tux and his, his tux and tails. And he's very comfortable with his life. He thinks he's a big shot. And she is all new to this here. And you can see where they're right on. This is where the balancing, two-fold two balancing act. She's not used to doing this type of dance where you have to stay on your toes for every little thing that you do. Um, and he is trying to wine and dine her. He's madly in love with her. She doesn't know his whole story. So, of course, he's trying to impress her with all of his material items. Um, but she's, I'm going to put here, I'm just going to put this down here. So you can see kind of the tobike, the, the tobike the um, tobacco and the um, pike. So she doesn't know his whole story. He's already filed one time um, bankruptcy to organize his company because he's a big spender. And um, he's trying to, like I said, wine and dine her with um, you know, his company, his fast cars, his fancy dress, his tuxedo, and she's feeling a little uncomfortable 
And again, it's a balancing act. And he's um, once again trying to tell her that, you know, all about his business and what he has. And she's a little skeptical. So um, that's why she's not sure if she wants to get involved with him because, again, she's not used to the fast cars. She's not used to anybody having his own business. He looks a little bit older than she does. You can see he's graying a little bit more around his face. So I'm going to, I'm going to assume that he's, he's an older gentleman and she's younger. Um, and yeah, she's, they're having a discussion, they're dancing. Um, and basically that's, that's it. She's, it's all a balancing act. Um, she's very nervous about this date but she figures she will just enjoy it. And it's not like they're going to be, he's going to be proposing to her anytime soon, but you never know. Um, so yeah, isn't that, isn't that what life is all about? A balancing act? I mean, you can have, you can have nice things, but I think it's just all, all, uh, you have to prioritize what you want. But I, I do like this. I like where they're, they're really trying to balance and tiptoe. He's tiptoeing ever so slightly around this chandelier. And life isn't all black and white. Sometimes people see it in just black and white. And it's not. There's so much more to life. And um, what do they say? The more, the more you have, the bigger, the bigger the toys, the bigger the problems, the bigger the headaches. So it's always nice to keep life simple keep yourself balanced by keeping staying grounded staying humble um yeah so that is this week's that is this week's um collage so we have the dancing we have the dancing rabbits we have a label we have the car which is the noun um something in black and white which is the background and his tux and then we have our geometric shape. And then we have something stapled. So I'm going to let these two go, sort it out. She can figure out what she wants to do. And um, yeah, this was a fun one. So I hope you liked it, everybody. Hope you liked the little story. And I will see you next week. All righty. Bye-bye.